All right, so my Dremel is in this bag. Yeah, I know it's a goofy lunch bag that somebody gave me, but it's a perfect bag for my Dremel. I like to keep everything in bags. Drill bits. Hopefully they'll hold out because uh, they're from Harbor Freight and I hear they're not really all that great, but hey, it is what I have, so. And uh, ooh, my toolkit. This is an awesome toolkit. Um, let's just hope that <laughs> my batteries yeah, it goes through this project, otherwise I'll have to charge it up, but that's really no big deal there. And the hitch bolts, which are way, way, way too long for this project, because I'm going to drill through here. So those are way, way, way too long. But I bought two inch bolts. So those would work just fine. So we're going to map it out, figure out where. My box is a little bit heavy. Where I need to, where I plan to install this. I think probably center. Oh yeah, definitely center. Definitely center. Okay, let me figure out which way it swings. Because that'll make a difference on which direction to install it. Okay, I just swung it from there. That's what I just dude. So fortunately, I can drill it onto here to make it work. Which is cool. I could go either way, depending on how well the holes line up. So I'll figure that out. And then when I need to use it, I'll swing it down, wind it out, and it will take the brunt of the weight that this cargo carrier cannot take because it's a swing away. The cargo carrier can only take. 200 pounds swung out and although I don't plan on putting a whole lot of weight on it I will be putting some weight on it and this will also stabilize it when I pull it out and that's the most important thing it's just just kind of drops down and it's not really very stable and it could put a lot of pressure on the hinges on the swing part on the other side so I'm going to go get busy and see what to do from here. We're going to try this with a Dremel just to start the pilot holes. Which made the, oh, it started out pretty wobbly. But it's in there. Okay. walking on me. I would be afraid of that. Yeah, well, at least a bit held out fine. <laughs> no damage to the tip at all. However, uh, it's not intended for a Dremel and it started swaggering back and forth and I thought no 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 we gotta stop now it's not safe so I'll pull out the other drill and hopefully <laughs> that little black and decker drill can handle the job we shall see Yeah, it's going in. It's going to be a slow process. I'm starting with smaller bits and working up to the bigger bit. Go 
ahead and start this one. Right now, I'm really wishing I had my rigid drill with me, <laughs> but I don't. It's in Texas. Uh, guess where? It's in the motorhome. <laughs> Let's see if this lines up okay. That would go about there. And it's a little bit high. There. And it's a little bit high. How about this side? That side's okay, I think. No, it's a little bit high too. I need to drop a little bit lower if I can possibly do that. Yeah, that'll be fine. What I have to do is drill my top holes, hang this, and then mark it for the bottom holes. The light duty drill is not made for this. <laughs> uh. If I can't get through it, then I'll have to ask my brother to bring me a more heavy-duty drill. We're slowly but surely getting there. <laughs> Got the torque set at 10. Because it's not a very powerful drill. It's a 6-in-1 tool kit, which is pretty cool. And I had to buy all this stuff when I got here. I had to order this from Amazon, and then I went to Harbor Freight and bought those on sale. That's from Harbor Freight also. But, uh, so I'll just keep plugging away till I get there. I am installing a swing away cargo jack on my cargo carrier. It's a trailer jack. Um, why? So that it can support the weight when it's swung out. Um, so I think that will help a lot and it involves using a drill. I used a Dremel to cut, uh, to get the pilot holes started and uh, I used another drill but it didn't work out. So my brother oh, loaned me a better drill. <laughs> so we'll get this done, right? There we go. Is that recording? Yes. Okay, so yeah, it is going to work. Is it going to take a little time? So I'll have to move from the smaller bit to a bigger bit and hope. Alrighty. Got two holes. The wind's picking up. I don't have a mic out here. But yeah, I got my two holes and. We'll step up to a larger bit for a bigger hole till we get the right size. Whew, made it through. <laughs> so here's how we are so far. Larger hole here, do, 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 over here, and then the smaller hole there because I haven't gone through it yet.
Okay. Now we have to step up to another bit. <laughs> Where's my screw? My bolt, rather. Yep, step up more. Maybe the next one will get it. Okay, it is a 3 8 inch uh, bolt. We're going to go for the 3 8 inch uh, bit and see if it works. Wish me luck. Whoa. Okay. Okay, <laughs> I got it. Wow. For some reason it kept jamming, so when it went backwards on the grill, it actually helped cut off the rough edges so I could get the bolt through. Isn't that crazy? There we go. They still stick out a little further, but maybe once I get all the other crap on. I don't know. Anyhow, wow. That was a job. Okay, so I'm going to attach it and then mark my holes for the bottom and start all over again. Yay! Whoops. It'd be nice if I grab the nuts, huh? in there and I'm not securing it down yet because I still have to drill through the bottom but in order to get it all lined up correctly I figured cut the top holes first and then line up the bottom and mark off the bottom I really think I just need shorter bolts I believe those are two and a half inch now that I think about it um, I don't think I could get two inch where I was at so I need to go to a different store get two inch bolts I have this plate backed up to it for extra security all right just for funsies let's give it a try and see what happens I haven't put the handle on yet <laughs> uh, raised and actually the wheel's not all that secure yet either this is just a test run okay that actually raises it up some that's good secure on here, it will work. All right, that'll get rid of the drag. All right, I've started my bottom holes. My thoughts now are to get, uh, for the bottom, of course this is a screw, <laughs> but get a bolt, a smaller bolt, and then big washers with the correct size part to put the bottom through and uh, I think that'll work then I could see secure the bottom why aren't we focusing Durr. then we could secure the bottom also without uh, having to go through the top because I'm afraid if I go bigger I'll go through the top Anyhow, uh, I may have to call it a day on this project for now because I've got things I've got to get done. And uh, I can come out tomorrow and finish drilling out the bottom holes. Got the top holes done. Finish drilling out the bottom holes. 
and then get that mounted oh yes and I'll have to go to the hardware store <laughs> I believe there's one in town so I'll go there tomorrow they close at 5 anyhow it's almost that now so I'll go to the hardware store in town and see what I can find by way of smaller bolts and shorter bolts for up here I just need two inch I don't need uh, anything really large and I believe that will uh, cap this project off we'll see to be continued on the same video <laughs> we're back on the project um, I went to the store and found shorter bolts which will be perfect I got tripods in the way so there we go so they won't be sticking out so it won't put holes in the cargo box that I'll put on here perfect and then for the bottom holes, I got smaller bolts. I'm still drilling. Where, is, where am I? <laughs> Here we go. We're still drilling through there, but at least now I know what size to drill for. Why won't it focus? Anyhow, I think the sun is a problem right now too, but oh well. I can't turn the sun down. <laughs> So we're going to get back to work and get these bottom holes drilled out and hopefully get this thing done today. I also have an elderly cat that I have to keep running inside and monitoring. And if she wakes up, then the project goes on hold until she goes back to sleep. that when it starts to do this if I reverse it and let it kind of smooth out the hole that it stops doing that there we go <laughs> I'm just kind of smoothing it out a little bit all right we got a hole Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay. With the washers and everything, that's going to be perfect. One more hole and the drilling is done. All right. Yes. Sun, where is it? Anyhow, it's up there. It is extremely intense today. Wow. And it's burning me through my jeans. Ouch. At least I'm on my last hole here. I'm having to sit on this lower stool <laughs> so I could get the right angle. Yeah, fun. Fun, fun. Good times. I set the drill over in the shade to cool it down a little bit. This sun, <laughs> it's a killer. We're almost there. Okay, we're almost there. Which will be good because the battery is about to die. Almost, almost, almost. Let's get through it before the battery dies. There we go. Success. All right. 
tidy. Smooth it out. And we're finished. Yes. Oh my gosh. Finished. Now I can attach everything and be pretty much done with this project. And it'll be nice to get my huge bin out of the van. I think it's a 55 gallon. So it'll be nice to get that out of the van. Wow. And there we go. We have a holes. All right, all right. Three eighth inch bolts for the top. And uh, I'm not really sure what size these are, but they're smaller. Whew, quite a, well, a lot of work. Of course, it's not a lot of work for some people. But uh, it was a project. So we'll get this thing mounted and be done with it. All right, I don't know if you can see the thickness of this. But this is heavy duty metal. I appreciate my brother Sonny loaning me his drill because there's no way my little drill was going to make it through this. And you know what? These titanium bits did the job. I have no complaints. Is it still hot? No, it's cold. So I have no complaints. Bought these at Harbor Freight on a $10 deal. And there are 29 pieces in this set. So, like I said, I have no complaints. Very cool. Got the job done for me. Cool. Thank you, Sunny. Thank you, Harbor Freight. Thank you, eBay. <laughs> also, and thank my checking account. Whew. And the tool roll, tool, tool roll did come in handy. So it's a keeper. Yeah, the squirrels got to my umbrella. I bought a bigger one to use with the van. So when I leave, I'll take my umbrella stand. And that will be my awning, and I'm hoping I can take this table too. We'll see if I have room for it. It's a nice little table. Oh, and I'm taking a break. A much needed break. And we'll go finish the assembly. Get that project done. I got lucky. <laughs> I forgot to buy nuts for my bolts and I found some in my mother's shed so thank goodness okay I've got the wheel on here and uh, I'm gonna line everything up and see if it lines up let's hope it does alrighty test 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 Pop in first. This thing's a little bit weighty. Okay. And <laughs> let's hope and pray that the bottoms fit. Oh, it, oh, it works. It works. Oh, don't get too excited. All right. Oh my gosh. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. We're almost done. <laughs> My goodness. Now, don't get too excited. Okay, all those washers fit. I think I'm going to put a washer. If it'll fit. Oh, uh, that's kind of big. I don't think it'll work. I don't have to have to, but I just kind of wanted to. But I didn't get enough. 
for this side as well, and I should have. I really, really should have. I don't think these little rings, no, they're just gonna, nope, that's not gonna work. Hmm. Nope. Oh well, we'll get it secured, and then I can always go back and get the washers. I don't know. Darn it, I wish I'd have thought about washers for this side. I got them for the top. Oh. Washers may not go on the top. So that might just change the whole thing anyhow. Yeah, the washer is yeah, okay, that'll work. That'll work. Just gonna put these on so I don't lose them. Like I said, I can probably just always get washers later for the bottom. Darn it. I don't think mom has any of those. But she does have some. Okay, we'll get the top secured. Okay, get back on there. I'm really happy that these bolts aren't too long. Okay, not cross thread it. Okay, that is not wanting to go on. What is going on here? Okay, so, okay, so I screwed up. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the threads, like I said before. So I need to go back. They're already, they're closing in 15 minutes. I won't make it in time. So I need to go back tomorrow, see if I can find a two inch bolt that's totally threaded. It probably is. This one is not totally threaded threads fit but it's not totally threaded so it's not going to work because of the distance a totally threaded one will work but yeah different size thread then i have to get two more of these little washers <sighs> life is fun Okay, so I figured out what the issue was. Yeah, you can plainly see it right here. I totally missed that when I bought the shorter ones. Totally missed that. So for now, I'll have to put the long ones on. I'm not going to put this little spring lock on yet until I get the right bolts. These are too long. Oh gosh. So, and that is why the nuts aren't fitting. Now it makes more, more sense. All right, it's on there. It is on there. Um, I still have a little situation with the bolts, but for now it'll hold. I'm just uh, looking for two inch bolts. Can't seem to find the ones I want. But uh, for now it's secure. So let's open it. I'll show you how freaking cool this is. And I'm keeping a bungee strap around here just because of this handle. So much better than before.
and I'm not putting the handle. There's a little black handle that comes out here that you can rotate. I'm not going to put that on because uh, I just run into it a lot. And you can see it actually raises the carrier, if you notice. Wow, it also stabilizes it from swinging back. Now that's a huge perk. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, yeah, that's so worth it. So worth it. Because before it would just drop down and it wasn't good. Now it's staying up there. So worth it. And um, I was able to do this just because of the construction of that carrier. I was able to drill holes through the frame and a lot of them aren't built that way so I kind of got lucky in that regard. Oh my gosh, I am so relieved. So let's get uh, my cargo box out, put it on there, see how that works. <laughs> Way backwards. My door opens better. bag. Just tarps. Recovery tracks. All right, I really like that. My recovery tracks right there. I have a inflatable kayak with all the goods, all the gear and stuff in that big burgundy bag. Tarps, ground mat, and my little barbecue grill. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh yeah, I have the oars. I could put the oars in here too. That is, you know what? <laughs> the reason I'm doing this because uh, I wasn't able to utilize that huge space under there because of the inflatable kayak. Now, I will be able to use it. I am stoked. There we go. Yes, the oars will fit in the bag. So all kayak gear is in there and uh, I'll have more space in here. Um, I'm thinking if I take the tires off of my e-bike, I can stick it in here. That'll work. Of course, I have other stuff to put in here too when I leave. Because <laughs> all my camera gear and everything is in the house. But that's, uh, yeah, that, that uh, lets up a lot of space there. <laughs> so.
so let's see about $450 worth of cargo carrier equipment oh yeah and then the $55 no it was I got on sale for $35 the cargo carrier is at the uh, box <laughs> all that for a $35 kayak <laughs> yeah <laughs> and now of course that's not 200 pounds worth of stuff but I could actually roll out 500 pounds worth of stuff on this specific carrier. This carrier can hold 600 pounds. The jack can support 1,000 pounds. However, my bumper can support 500 pounds. But it's all good. It's not going to have all that much stuff in it. Just the big bulky items that were taking up a lot of space inside. Wow. Oh. Very nice.